Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for you today, I'll be giving you a look at another Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens figure. This time around, it's a figure that I uh, picked up uh, around about a couple of weeks ago at my local Forbidden Planet store. Um, I did pay a tiny bit extra for this figure, only one pound and one pence, so it's not going to bother me. Uh, but I am pleased that I've got this figure because it's one of the figures that I've been looking for quite a while now and I'm pleased I added her to my collection. So the figure that I've got for you today is none other than the beauty herself, Captain Phasma from Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. Now when Force Friday hit us, I was looking forward to getting this figure for my collection but when I went into my local Toys R Us, um, I couldn't find her unfortunately but I managed to go to my local Forbidden Planet store a couple of weeks ago and I managed to pick her up for £10.99 which is um, a little bit extra, as I said, £1.01 1 extra but I'm happy to add this character to my collection. So before I start the review, I'm going to give you a look at the packaging that comes with this character. As you see, this is the packaging for Captain Phasma. At the top, you've got the price of the figure I paid, £10.99. An image of Kylo Ren, an image of Star Wars The Force Awakens, and an image of Captain Phasma in action, which is very cool. Love the artwork. On the bottom you've got the accessory that comes with Captain Phasma and on the side now that I've just noticed you've got the uh, forest gear and that little thing at the side is to say which figures um, they're from so you've got purple for space and white for snow so that's a new thing I've learnt about these figures so that's very cool. On the back you've got three figures as well You've got Captain Phasma, Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker. I gave you a look at Kylo Ren in my last figure review. I've got two parts uh, now. Uh, I'm not going to bother picking up the Luke Skywalker figure because I already have him. Um, so that's the part that comes with Captain Phasma. Very cool. And overall, out of all the builder weapon figures, this is the best packaging and by far I think the best figure in the wave. So this is Captain Phasma. It's packaging. Very nice and very cool. I'm going to give you a look at the accessory that comes with it. As you see it's just a small accessory like so with two handlebars and this little thing in the middle that you can spin. Uh, because it says forest gear, um, this is just a guess I think it's like a uh, special cut machine where either a stormtrooper or Captain Phasma goes through the forest and you either press a button and it shreds all the leaves and branches that get in our way so that's very cool. Um, as I said I'm not a massive lover of these but it's nice to see that they're adding these accessories and the new figures. So that's the accessory. And also with this accessory, it does come with a small set of instructions, like so. So you've got Captain Phasma's one, Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker. And on the back you've got three images um, that shows you how to complete and build this accessory together. So that's interesting. So that's the instructions manual. So don't need to bother about that. You get your money's worth for this beauty. So let's take a look at her. As you see, Captain Phasma does come with a bowl jointed head, a swivel left arm, a swivel right arm, a swivel left leg, and a swivel right leg. She does come with a brand new Stormtrooper rifle. 
as you see with Captain Phasma's one this is the one that you can extend and it's cast in a uh, black and silver plastic which is very nice uh, the detail on here is excellent I like how they've uh, scoped the sto scope sorry, and the uh, ammunition magazine so that's very cool Also with Captain Phasma, she does come with this nice new cloak that Hasbro have introduced. It's not made from a nice material, it's made from a nice black rubber. It does come in black and a nice strip of red. So that's very cool. You can remove the helmet as well. And take the cape off. You can have her as a normal Stormtrooper. So that's uh, without a cloak. Also, she's got a new sculpt with the belt and a new back pauldron as well, so that's very nice. But I prefer Captain Phasma with a nice rubber cloak. So let's put that back on. Let's get in. There you go. So the new rifle is nice. Um, also on the right hand side you might see a small little clip you can get the Stormtrooper rifle and just place that in there and you can have a standing like that with a Stormtrooper rifle at the side so that's very cool but I prefer uh, holding the uh, Stormtrooper rifle so let's just get that in place but what can I say she is an absolute beauty I was so thrilled to get this uh, figure for my collection. Um, also, before I finish with this review, um, Captain Fazner is quite a tall character. Um, it's nice to see that Hasbro are using the characters and showing them showing their height off, which is very cool. I'm just going to zoom out and show you a figure. So, this is the new Snow Trooper from Star Wars Episode 7 Force Awakens. And if you just get Captain Phasma, just compare them with size. Captain Phasma, she's a tall girl, she's very tall, I'll say at least 6 foot 2, 6 foot 3. And that's with the figures itself. I mean, I'd like to see uh, when I eventually go see Star Wars Episode 7 Force Awakens in cinemas. I like to see how tall she really is up close, but look at the comparison, she's not a tall girl. <laughs> yeah, really, really cool. So that's the new Snow Trooper. I'm going to give you a look at that in my next review. So I'll just put that back up. So I'll just give you another look at Captain Phasma before I wrap up this review. So this is Captain Phasma from Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Really pleased to pick her up. And she's an absolute beauty. Love it a bit. And I'm looking forward to seeing her in action in December. So this has been Captain Phasma from Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. In my next review, I'm going to give you a look at the Snow Trooper that I just showed you a couple of moments ago. So I'd just like to say thank you for watching guys. Thank you for taking some of your time to watch my reviews. Um, if you're watching my videos or looking at my channel for the first time, please don't hesitate to subscribe and obviously spread the message of my channel. Um, I'd like to get some more subscribers, so if you can, tell your friends about my channel and get them to subscribe. And I'd just like to say thanks for watching guys. Keep collecting and may the force be with you.